So the first thing I want to do is upload the image that I'm going to use. I've already uploaded this little gnome image here. Um, I got this from designbundles.net. I'll put the link at the bottom. Currently, as of March 10th, it is free, but I don't know how long it'll be. So these are three gnomes that are all grouped together. I'm going to ungroup them because I only want the final. I'm going to work with the final image. So all of this I can delete. So this is the one that I want to change into two colors. I want to layer the front, the beard, the nose, and the little pom-pom um, circle here in a white vinyl. And then the black, the back, I want it to be a green silhouette. I want to make him a little um, St. Patty's gnome. But he's one layer right now. There's no way, if you look down here, he's just one layer. I can't separate it to do it in two separate things. So we're going to use contour to create a second layer. So the first thing we want to do is duplicate him make an extra copy so that we can work with each one individually. Click on one of the copies, come down and hit contour. You can also do this on your iPhone under actions, I believe, then contour feature will, will appear. What you see on contour is you're going to see it divides whatever um, the different things, the different colors are, it'll divide them here, the different items that you can work with. All I want to keep is the back as a silhouette. So if I highlight all of the ones that I don't want, it makes them disappear and it just keeps the silhouette. You just have to X out of it and you will just have the silhouette um, or whatever parts of it you keep. I'm going to make that green. Now I want this to be the white part only. I don't want the silhouette on this. So we go back to contour. And we do the opposite. We're just going to keep the bottom pieces. We're not going to keep the silhouette. So I highlight that and make that disappear. And when you hit X, you should just have the beard, the nose, and the pom-pom. I'm going to make that white. I'm going to move that forward. And then you have your second layer. And now you have um, your little gnome. And you can use this for any holiday. You can make them a little Christmas gnome. You can make whatever and do the same. If you have a one layer image, you just do the same thing. I want to do the same steps with the shamrock because I want the back to be green and I want the front, the inner part of it to be yellow. So again, duplicate it, go into contour. I'm just going to hide the inside part right now. So I'm just going to keep whatever's unhighlighted, which is the silhouette. Make that the same shade of green as the little gnome silhouette. Hit your second copy, go back into contour and do the opposite. Hide the silhouette part and just the, the inside part is going to stay. And I'm going to make that yellow. I want that to be a yellow. And I'm going to bring that to the front. And then I'm just going to group that together. So right now we have our little gnome with his little four leaf clover, his hands. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight them and attach them first because I want them to cut exactly where they're spaced out. And then I'm going to make them green and then bring them over to hold the little shamrock. And then all of these, you can turn whatever color. I'm going to turn them yellow because I have a specific project, the project that from the mug. But you can do whatever you want with them. And I'm just going to place them around here right now. And then I'm going to add text there. I'm going to make that yellow and I'm going to bring that in front of my little shamrock and I'm going to add text around it and the text that I like I'm going to use the font that I like it's called curls MT And every word, I, every place the word is going to be, I do it as a separate text box. I struck gold and then, because then it gives you more freedom to place it wherever you want. Like right now, this little shamrock is in my way. This little shamrock is in my way. And then you would just move your items wherever you want. I actually want the word gold to be sort of gold, but I'm going to make it more, yeah, like that, I struck gold with, and the last word is you. So it's pretty th simple design, you can do whatever you want, that's the great thing about this, 
you just use pieces from different projects you have you can use whatever you want add text and look we went from that little single layer gray gnome you can use for so many different things you could put this on a t-shirt a mug or just on a sticker and just give it to somebody for St. Patty's Day. All right, I hope that helped you learn the contour feature and don't forget to like and subscribe for future notifications of videos.